Hi, this is Jim from LearnElectronicsOnline.com and in today's tutorial we're going to look at how to program your design into the EEPROM of your DE1 board to keep it programmed even after you've shut down your board. Now most of the time when we do our designs in class we just program into RAM which means we can program our design into our DE1 board but once you disconnect the board from the computer or shut off the power that design is gone and if you turn your board back on or you know re-plug it into the computer uh, you'd have to re-download or reprogram your board. What we're going to look at today is how to take the design that you've done and program it into the EEPROM so that even if you shut off your board, uh, you can take it all the way home, uh, turn it back on, and your design will still be there. So let's get started. So here's a very quick design that I uh, made and programmed into the board. And what we want to do now is we're going to have to change a few little things and do a few little things differently to program it into the EEPROM. Now, this is going to work on the software and the board that I'm using. I'm using the uh, Terraceaker Altera DE1 board. And we'll see a picture of it in a second. Uh, I'm also using the Quartus 2 design software from Altera. I'm using version 11.1 .1, and I'm using Service Pack 2 of that software. The first thing we're going to have to do is change the device and we're going to need to do this here. If you highlight and right click on the little yellow triangle and select device and what we want here is device and pin options so click on that and we want configuration which is the second tab down yours may open up on general but we want to go on configuration which is the second tab down and under use configuration device uh, you'll need to make sure that's checked and for the board we use this is the device we need EPCS4. So we're just going to make that change and hit OK. And then hit OK again. Now, because we've changed up, uh, basically the device in this program, we're going to have to recompile it. So I'm just going to do that right now. And then that will basically adopt the new settings into our project file. Now it's compiled. Now I'm just going to save project here. I probably save project too much, but it's never a bad idea. And I'm just going to close the compilation report window. Now the second thing that we're going to do, uh, or have to do differently, is when we go to program the board, one of the things we're going to have to do differently is under mode, we're going to select active serial programming. When you do that, you're going to get a message saying that some of the devices aren't going to work. Uh, do we want to clear all the devices? Hit yes. And then you're going to go over here and add file. Now, the proper one will probably be here. If we're doing active serial programming, we need the POF file. So just select that and hit open. And you'll notice that the device that we changed in the settings, EPCS4, will now be in this area here. Now on this one we're going to have to manually check the program and configure. You can do the verify if you like but you don't really need to. Now before we do anything there's one more change we're going to have to make on the board. If you check out this little video here you'll see that there's a switch on the DE1 board and we're going to have to change it from run to program. So we need to shut the power off and then we need to sh uh, change the switch from run to program and then turn the power back on. So this is the mode that we need to be in to be able to program uh, the EEPROM. So once that's done, then we can hit start. And you'll notice that this one takes a little longer to program. You can see the progress right here. And once it's 100% successful, that program will be in your board and all you need to do is change the uh, run program switch back to run and you don't need to do anything with the power as soon as you put it into run your board will be active and ready to go program will be loaded in there and you'll notice that if you turn the board off back on again uh, your program will still be in the board hope you found that helpful 